Okay, already we have started recording. So I would like to welcome you and say good morning, good evening, or wherever you might be. Thank you for joining us, for joining the Global Youth Challenge, GYC 2021 World Peace. Now, my name is Christine. And here with me are my colleagues, Sharon and Camelia. And we are delighted that you have uh, decided to join us and join this amazing journey in making a, making a difference in the world today. Allow me to take this opportunity to give you some more information about the Global Youth Challenge. The Global Youth Challenge is a not-for-profit um, foundation registered under the Canada Corporations Act. And the GYC is aimed, hold on, a little technical difficulty. Just give me one sec, there we go. So the Global Youth Challenge is aimed to provide youth, internet, uh, youth from all over the world with a platform to express their ideas, to provide them a chance to communicate with each other and to come up and suggest creative ideas to current issue affecting mankind. Now each year, students around the world will be presented with a topic, which will become the focus of their submission of the competition. Now for last year, last year the topic was COVID-19. So GYC 2020, the topic was COVID-19. And for this year, the committee has decided that world peace will become the topic for the competition. Let's take a look at a video and put some visual behind my introduction of GYC. Sorry, there's a little bit of a background uh, noise. There's some construction going on and I apologize for that. Um, also a little bit of an internet connection issue. Just give me one moment, please. Thank you. The Global Youth Challenge 2021. Why do you go to school? Why does school even exist? You've probably heard the saying, knowledge is power. You've learned a lot of knowledge in school, but have you gained a lot of power? Jim Quick said, knowledge is not power. It's only potential power. It only becomes power when we apply it and use it. So how should we use the knowledge we learned in school? Well, we should use it to repay gratitude to all the people who allow us to go to school. That starts with our family, to our city and country, and even the whole world. Think about the food you eat, the technology you use, the knowledge you learn. Where are all those things from? It's from all around the world. Because knowledge should be used to benefit the world, I encourage you to join the 2021 Global Youth Challenge. This year's topic is world peace. Use the knowledge and skills you learned in school to share your ideas on how the world can achieve more peace. Participants need to submit a short video plus a short essay or artwork. For your topic, think about world peace through the lens of different subjects like history, business, science, and art. Visit theglobalyouth.org to learn more and sign up. All right, this is a very nice video. Nice video and putting some visual behind the Global Youth Challenge. Now, let me go into details and introduce you uh, to Global Youth Challenge a bit more. Now, as from the video, um, 
we can see that the there goal are... of the global youth challenge is to inspire students from around Sorry, the just world one to second. reflect and think about the topic of world peace Sorry, sorry about that. A little bit of a technical issue. I apologize for that. Let's get started, get right back into our presentation to introduce you to Global Youth Challenge a little bit more. Now, as we can see from the video, as we just saw that uh, we can participate in the Global Youth Challenge in two different ways. One way is by entering the competition as a competitor. And the other way is by volunteering, by promoting the Global Youth Challenge, by bringing this wonderful and meaningful competition to a broader audience. Let's first take a look at how you can become a participant. First, now that you're here, I hope you have all registered, but in, in case you, if you haven't, um, this is the link where you can register. It's very easy to remember. It's register.theglobalyouth.org. We will be providing this link to you um, in the chat box, as well as if you have any question or if you cannot remember the link, that's okay. No worry about it. Um, you can email us and I will be providing you with the email link shortly. So by clicking this link, you'll be able to register. And this is the page you'll see once you click on that link. As you can see on the top, the topic of this year's challenge is clearly stated, which is world peace, as well as the training session. Now, if you take a look at the very top, it stated it is um, the general information session is stated and that's every Thursday, uh, of course, including holidays, which is Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. And that is the general information session in which uh, my colleague and I will be introducing you to the Global Youth Challenge and telling you a little bit about volunteering and how important that is to your life and especially in terms of university application for those of you looking to go to university. Now, if you could take a look at the second stated uh, training session, that is a GYC Leadership Roundtable, which I'll be telling you a little bit about in a very few minutes. Now, in terms of the registration form, it is very simple and straightforward. It asks you for your name, your nationality email for, as a contact information, as well as your date of birth. Uh, this is a youth challenge. So hopefully we are between 14 to 19 years of age. We do encourage people to join. Uh, if you are under or over that age, please join us as a volunteer. And for those of you who are a little bit younger, we welcome you to join in the future, in the very near future, I hope. And we would also like you and kindly invite you to write down your institution, meaning your school. For example, where uh, you are going to school, we welcome students from all over the world to join us. Now, after you fill in this very simple and straightforward registration form, you will be uh, seeing a pop-up and it says registration received. You'll be contacted um, via email, which you will be, okay? So if you don't receive that email, uh, please email us, which I'll provide the email address again at the end, and uh, we will set you up. Now, as a participant, you are asked to enter the competition with a submission. Uh, as mentioned in the video, submission includes two things. And there are some requirements that you need to be very clear of, okay? So the requirements. For those of you who would like to write, you can submit a 300 to 500 word essay, including a video speech. Or if you are very artsy and you like to draw and you like photography, that is great. That is wonderful because you can also submit one visual artwork, including one visual artwork as well as one minute video speech. Now, what is the purpose and what is the goal behind that one minute, very short video speech? That is uh, for the committee to see and for you to tell the committee uh, what is the idea behind your work, whether that is an essay or artwork, what you would like to tell everyone through your work, okay? So you'll be allowed to submit something in writing or in drawing as well as a basically a video telling the committee what you like to achieve by some, your submission. Now, what do you do after you have done all that? Well, we could kindly ask you to remember to submit it to the committee, to submit it to GYC for review. And you can do so uh, very uh, simply by submitting your entry in uh, by email. And the email address is submit2021 at theglobalyouth.org. 
And remember to submit two things when you write your email. First, of course, either your essay or artwork. Second, your video. Now, depending on the clarity of the video, um, the size can vary quite a bit. So we would ask you to kindly upload your video to Bilibili or to YouTube or to a website in your country that allows you to um, email the video link at a later date in your submission email for the committee to review. So remember two, so remember two things. One, your artwork or your essay, whatever way you decide to go, as well as a one minute video speech link to provide the committee the chance to uh, review. The, specific, uh, the specific details will be provided to you during the weekly training session. Oh. Hi, excuse me, for uh, those of you who have just joined us, thank you. And if I could kindly ask you to mute your mic once you come in, that will provide us um, with a more uh, quiet environment to uh, communicate, okay? Thank you very much. So more specific uh, details will be provided in the weekly training session. As I mentioned previously, uh, it is called the GYC Leadership Roundtable. Now you might have a question about what exactly is a GYC Leadership Roundtable? Well, it is a training session conducted by the committee every week to help you, the participant, to develop uh, different skills, such as communication skills, such as leadership skills. And the topic are different every week. Um, it includes presentation skill, uh, as well as help you to write a good essay. Now this runs Friday, which is tomorrow, and it runs every Friday, excluding Christmas and New Year Day. And the time is the same, eight to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time or Toronto time. And the address is still this Zoom link. So as a participant, you are encouraged, invited, and welcome to join this training session, the GYC Leadership Roundtable, okay? And it will give you a chance to communicate with your fellow participant and a chance to talk to professional teachers and help you to polish your entry. As a participant, I would like you to write down these very two important dates. First, January 25th. 2021, which is next year, that is the registration deadline. For those of you who have registered, wonderful. Thank you so much for joining the GYC and uh, as a participant. Now, if you have friends that are interested, please remember to tell them the registration deadline is January 25th. And for entry deadline, for submission deadline, that is January 31st, literally the last day of January of 2021. And these two important dates are very, um, are very vital so please remember, registration deadline is January 25th and submission deadline is January 31st, okay? Uh, I, we would welcome you to, have, uh, to type in any questions in the chat box or ask us at the end. I will be also, again, I will be also providing the important uh, email address that you can contact GYC, contact the committee with at the very end as well. Now for uh, the GYC, I mentioned previously that you can participate as a participant by submitting your entry. You can also join in the GYC and making a difference in the world by being a volunteer. Now, what do you do as a volunteer? Well, first you need to register. Uh, by register, we will be able to contact you and provide you with more information about how to become a better volunteer, okay? So first the link for volunteering is theglobalyouth.org slash volunteer. And by clicking this link, you'll be bringing to this page. Now this is, as you can see, very similar to the registration form for the, uh, for the participant. It's just less information required, uh, just your first and last name, as well as your email address. And we would invite you to put in your school as well. We would uh, be very happy to see many um, youth to join us, okay? And the training session schedule is exactly the same as the one that stated previously in the participant section. Now, by, pro, uh, by being a volunteer, um, you will be responsible and hopefully you'll enjoy this process as well because this is a growing process that will allow you the opportunity to develop many of your different skills. Now, by being a volunteer, we would like to ask you to promote the GYC through your promotional channels. 
And by doing so, uh, you'll be able to accumulate volunteer hours as well. Now, there are several ways that you can um, promote the GYC. I'm sure many of you are much more res resourceful than I am. Now, before you get started, I would like to tell you the standards for the volunteer hour accumulation, okay? This document will also be emailed to you by the committee uh, very shortly after this session. Now, first, let's take a look. By promoting, uh, by talking to a, a lot of different people, you'll be making a lot of contact. Now, for each person or each contact you made, you will be given half an hour or 0 0.5 hour of uh, volunteer hours. Um, we would ask you and invite you and encourage you to talk to many people, family, friends, as many people as possible to introduce them to this very meaningful competition, GYC 2021. I do ask you to keep a good record and that is something that is super important in your academic and in your uh, personal life as well. When you do make contact, I will invite you to write down the name, email address and telephone number of each contact you have made or each person you have talked to. Your contacts will be provided uh, your very own unique URL link at a later date. At, at a later date. Uh, we'll be email, emailing that to you and you can uh, forward that to your contacts and they'll be asked to fill in a very, very simple form and complete a verification uh, process, okay? Another way uh, you can accumulate hours for, uh, uh, by being a volunteer is by actually recruiting more volunteers. Now you might have a question, so what is the difference between contact or and a volunteer? Now contact is people you have talked to for each volunteer recruited, that is when that contact is joining you uh, as a fellow volunteers and providing you with the proof that indeed they have volunteered and promoted the GYC. And at that point, that contact becomes a volunteer recruited. And for each volunteer recruited, you'll be given one hour. Now we will also ask you to write down the contact information, uh, name, email address, as well as telephone number of each contact that has become a volunteer. Um, and they will also be asked to provide uh, a complete um, for and verification process at a future date. For each uh, participant, you are able to encourage to join GYC, you'll be giving three hours. And um, when that, that participant needs to submit or enter the competition with the actual entry, and at that point, that person uh, will become a participant and you'll be giving three hours of volunteer hours. Uh, I know many of you are very, very active on the social media side. So we would also uh, be giving uh, volunteer hours um, by if you do a posting on social media networks, such as you know, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or any social media network in your country. Obviously, we would later ask you to provide proof uh, and to help you to keep track with that as well. Now, you should, and the posting must, include a brief description of GYC, as well as a linkage, or if there's no word limit, provide your audience with the GYC official website as well as hashtag GYC 2021. So this creates a very unique and very complete posting by introducing your audience or uh, your contacts about GYC. And for each posting on each social media network, you'll be giving one hour. Now, if you get 10 likes for the posting that you make on each posting on each social media network, you'll be given one hour. For every 50 views of your posting, you'll be given one hour as well. Uh, so I would encourage you to actively use social media to promote UIC and to reach a wider audience. And for those of you who like to make videos, Wonderful news for you because um, you'll be able to stretch your creative side by creating a GYC promotional video. Hi, I'm sorry for those of you who uh, just joined us, please unmute your mic when you come in. Thank you. So uh, for you guys uh, to uh, stretch, your, um, stretch your artistic side, creating a video is a good option. And you'll be giving five hours for each promotional video that you create um, and post. 
And that video should be mm, three to four minutes. If you like to create a longer, that's fine. But generally three, to, generally three to four minutes is fine. And you should also include uh, basic information about GYC, such as the website. Um, I would suggest that you do that as a caption. So it's clearly stated and uh, uh, in your video. And also pray, uh, provide your audience uh, of the video a clear statement of what GYC is about, what's GYC's mission, which you can find all the details about GYC on our official website, theglobalyouth.org. Okay, and if you and we welcome you to include any information that you think is important for your audience, for people who are watching your video, um, to get to know GYC better. Now, as volunteers, it's best to keep a track of the contact you have made uh, of the hours you have accumulated. Now we will ask you to kindly submit a weekly progress report. And that is the goal behind that or the aim behind that is for you to keep a good track of your hours and to stay organized. Uh, and this is important as good skills to have, uh, whether that you are a student or if you have already started working. Now for the weekly progress report, uh, I would like you to include two things. Now, first, obviously, we have to keep we have to keep track of the hours, and that is a summary of your volunteer hours. I will uh, show you an example of both the hours as well as the proof in my next slide. Okay, so the um, for you, the hours, please. I think Excel format is quite simple and clear to do, and that is the summary of your volunteer hours that you should keep. Uh, and for the proof uh, to be clearly labeled according to the previous categories I have mentioned, and that can be a screenshot or any other way that you think it's uh, relevant in uh, being the proof of the hours you have accumulated. Now we will ask, kindly ask you to submit your weekly report every Thursday. Uh, if you, there's a delay, please let, let us know as well. Uh, we can always work around it if there's a specific uh, circumstances and the email address in which you can submit your weekly report is volunteer2021 at theglobalyouth.org. Uh, if you don't know this, if you can remember this email address, that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, but uh, I would ask you to write that down. It's very easy to remember. And we will be also emailing you to send you a kind reminder every Monday or Tuesday uh, to remind you that uh, your weekly report is due Thursday. Now let's take a look at an example because many of you might have some question. Now this can be uh, your weekly report, the format for the hours. Please state your name, your week, and the different categories as well as the number of contact or volunteer recruited and the uh, relevant hours. So this can be very, very simple. Nothing fancy is necessary. Uh, this is just to help you to keep yourself organized. So this is the, uh, the hours part. And furthermore, we would like to ask you to take a look at the proof part. Now, like I mentioned before, it can be screenshot or any other way that you think can uh, help you keep track and help us to know exactly how many hours you have uh, done as volunteer, okay? So for example, this is a post uh, from uh, Twitter and it has a very basic information about the Global Youth Challenge as well as linkage and hashtag GYC 2021. Now, this is a category four. Uh, don't worry too much about the you know, category four or five, as long as you tell us uh, which, which does this belong to, which this is the social media posting. And for this, this is Twitter posting. Each post you get one hour, hence the one hour behind the uh, statement. And if you make the um, another posting on Instagram or Facebook, that will be also uh, hours accumulated. Okay. And for another example, this one, this is a WeChat post that a student in China made, uh, posted. And if you see the red arrow, it's pointing uh, arrow, it's pointing to the number of likes. Now we stated that number of likes for each for every 10 likes, 
you get one hour. Uh, you'll be given one hour. And as here, you can label this as we just posting number one. And under this category, under number of likes, you'll be given one hour. So this is very simple. Well, we're not looking for anything fancy. We're just trying to help you to keep track of the hours you accumulated, excuse me, and to help you to stay organized, okay? Because as a volunteer, you'll be talking to a, little, a lot of different people and making a lot of different contacts. So it is a good skills and something to remember to keep a good track of. Now the registration deadline for being a volunteer uh, is January 31st, 2021. And again, that link is the globalyouth.org slash volunteer. Um, we would ask you and we would be super, super delighted that if you have invited more friends, family, or um, a wider audience, because the Global Youth Challenge is a wonderful opportunity for uh, youth and for uh, um, the community to uh, start thinking about how we can make a difference in the world today. Now, by volunteering, uh, you'll be will be able to achieve and develop a lot of different skills. And at this point, I would like to invite my colleague Sharon to share um, the importance of being a volunteer. Sharon, take it away, please. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello everyone. So thank you, Christine, for sharing that well, how to register and also how to uh, do the volunteer job. Uh, I will introduce the importance of volunteering. So for the importance of volunteering, I divide into four steps. The first one is satisfy. To satisfy the requirement, and then you move to the next step to develop yourself to develop abilities. And then you achieve the third stage to apply, to apply the skills in your life, in university application. And then you move to the fourth step. Well, you succeed in your future career and life. So I will introduce one by one. The first one is satisfy. So satisfy the requirement of Diploma. So um, in Ontario, in Canada, in Ontario, so it is mandatory for the community involvement for high school graduates. As part of the high school graduation requirement, every student must complete 40 hours of community involvement before graduation. And the purpose of that is to let you to promote the community values and also to increase the students' awareness of community needs, and also to develop yourself, to develop a positive self-image. So this is the first step. Let's move to the, another step, the second one. So for the second step is to develop abilities. What are the ability? What are the personal development skills? So for the personal development skills are qualities and abilities that help you to grow both personally and professionally. In other words, that are skill that help you to develop yourself and to understand and improve those skills where well, you could get the benefit to develop your potential. And the process is to be known as self-development or personal growth and you could develop yourself. And let's move to another question. So why those skills really, really important? Well, for the personal development skills are important because that allowed you to create the creative and professional plans for yourself to grow towards your goals. So it could be helpful for your personal development and you could also work them in your daily routines and use them to achieve your personal and the career goals. I know that, well, for you, you have your personal goals, maybe the short term, maybe the long term. Maybe first thing is to, well, grow yourself in high school and then to move to the university. And after graduation, you will have the different goals. So to develop yourself, to participate in volunteering could help you to develop your abilities. 
that will help you to achieve your personal and the career goals. And also that could be help for your uh, advancing yourself in your career because you have developed your abilities and in the volunteering jobs and you know that some skills. So for your future career, you could apply that. I will talk about in next steps. And then you could improve your strengths and your talents. So that will also be beneficial for you. So I will give you some like example about like personal developed skills. So that are the qualities you already have or you can get through the education and training. So in the videos, we'll have like different personal developed skills that depending on your volunteering jobs, on your jobs and also on your goals. I will give you uh, one by one and give you more examples. You will know them more. The first one, communication. So I will give you example like when you participate in global years challenge activity and you need to like to communicate with each other, communicate with others about that in ones and to promote that image and in that way you could develop your communication skill and then interpersonal. Well, you could develop yourself and also by participating in that event, you could like to practice communication with others and the interpersonal skill and then organization. Well, you need to like to organize the events, the, the participation and also um, for example, you will join the team and you will organize a plan to how to let others know that event. So in that way, your organization skill will be developed. And then personal like the problem solving skill. So for that one, I know sometimes, well, when you do something, you come across some problems and you need to like solve that maybe it's hard for you to well create like the promotion plan but don't worry we will help you and we will get you step by step just as christine have mentioned that and also have introduced some like strategies to solve that problem and also you could think about well from that how to develop your all skill and also your all plan so in that way your problem solving skill will be developed to solve those problems. And then self-confidence. Well, when you solve the problems, you will feel more confident and to deal with different things. So in that way, your self-confidence skill will be developed. And also you need to adapt to well different environments and also to adapt to different communities. So in that way, you learn to how to adapt to the different things and also different involvement. And then integrate you. Well, you need to develop your self image and also uh, you need to work with others. So that also will help you develop your integrity. And then what's that ethic? So you need to like, well, to, well, to work hard and also to participate so in that way, your worth ethic will be developed. And then leadership. Well, in terms of leadership, I think that you have heard a lot from that because that will, the, for example, the university application and the officers will talk a lot about, about like, well, we value the leadership, we value the communication, we value the cooperation skills. So for that in ones, you could like to develop your leadership. For example, you are the leader of that team and uh, you are the leader of that promotion plan for the Global US Challenge. And that way, your leadership will be developed. So that will be more beneficial for you and uh, for your future. So that's the examples of different skills. And then we will move to the, another step, the third step, applying. So you could like to apply those skills into your life, into your study, into your university application. This is the short-term goal for some students. 
So for example, um, you may come across like, well, not only the academic requirement, but also the non-academic requirements. So that asks you to finish the supplementary application. So for the supplementary application for some schools, they may ask about like, well, um, could you please tell more about your extracurricular like activities? So in that one, you could like talk, well, I have participated in the Global Euros Challenge that in wins, so that would be beneficial for you. And also you could talk about like your abilities and the, the problem that how you solved from this event. So that will also provide you with more resource to talk about yourself. And then maybe the university will ask you about like, well, to talk something that what is important to you, what the values that you most like, well, think that the values for you like that. So you will talk about like yourself, the self image or you will talk about the skills that you have, you master. So you could talk, well, um, I think that I'm the person good at leadership. I think I'm the person good at, like the communication. Um, I will give you an example, like, well, I participate in the Global US Challenge and the leader of the um, team and the participant of the promotion team. So I have then, well, different activities like sharing, I mean, that will my um, plans for promoting in the social media, uh, for example, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, WeChat, those. And in that way, um, I do that thing step by step. Maybe I arrange how to, I mean, that devote the, the time for that and each session. And uh, so how I spend time doing that. So in that way, you can also talk something about like, well, your organization skill or like your time management skill. So that will provide you more like the uh, resource. And also for yourself, you master those skills in your life. So you could like to tell about something about your self image and uh, you have the resource to talk about. And also um, that will provide you the reference for that. So uh, that will be beneficial for your applying. So then we'll move to uh, the fourth stage and the to be succeed. So to be successful in your future career and life. So maybe you um, will get into your ideal, uh, ideal, ideal school because that will you have like um, be not only good at academic work, but also you're good at, well, the actual curr curriculum, um, well, like activities. So the university, uh, accept you well that's a good step and then you succeed to be like successful in the future career and life and uh, so that will also beneficial for your like the self-development as well so uh, I will like to share one video about our champion and in the GIC uh, before so you will have a more idea of that and also how to be like succeed successful in your life and also in the event. Thank you, Christine, to share that. I apologize, my computer is slightly slow. Bear with me for a sec, please. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone, so for those like the information and also the videos and resource, uh, you could also check uh, on the website for Global Yours Challenge. I have like posted on the chat box. You might be watching this video and wondering, is this contest really going to be worth it? All the time and effort that I'm about to put in? Well, I guarantee you, if you put in the time and effort, express your honest ideas and opinions, and work hard towards your goal, you'll benefit so much and it'll be totally worth it. This is an opportunity for your voice to be heard. By doing this, you're doing something big. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're sharing your ideas, and most importantly, you're taking on new challenges. Moreover, it's fun. I chose to do an art piece because art is just simply one of my favorite things to do. I really enjoy the process of creating this art piece, and it was a great distraction from all the stress and schoolwork that I've been having. You can choose any subject that you're interested in. It doesn't have to be art. It can be history, computer, physics. You name it, there's so much to choose from. Just make sure it's something that you're interested in and you enjoy. 
Through this experience, I was also introduced to so many innovative and inspiring ideas and met so many ambitious and creative and like-minded friends. I had no idea that I was going to be the champion, but that was my goal. And all I did was work hard towards my goal. If I can do it, you can do it too. Try your best and put in your best effort. Join now and let your voice be heard by the world. Okay, thank you. So as uh, she mentioned that she could do that, you could do that as well. And I hope you get like, well, to be a uh, succeed and uh, in the event and also in your career and in your application for the university and also in your life. So thank you. Thank you, Sharon. So as uh, our first uh, place winner from last year, uh, GYC 2020 uh, COVID-19, stated Miss Caroline Shen, who's from China. Uh, she uh, submitted a beautiful art piece, like she mentioned, and she also explained her ideas um, behind her work. Now, uh, I would be so happy and I cannot wait to see your entries. I'm sure they are just as great, maybe even better. Uh, than last year's wonderful participant, okay? So um, if you have general inquiries, I would like you to uh, send, and I would invite you to send any of your questions, general inquiries to info at theglobalyouth.org. And if you have specific uh, question related to volunteering, you can send them to volunteer2021 at theglobalyouth.org. And now I would like to uh, uh, invite you to, uh, if you have any question to ask us, either uh, me, Sharon, or Camilla, my colleagues and I will be more than happy to answer them. Uh, and if we don't have time, we can let you know via email, okay? So uh, Sharon, do we have any questions so far? Yeah, I can see like right now one question. Um, so one question from Katie that, can you review the points you made at the beginning of the meeting? So I think that will uh, Kitty wants to know, know more about like the points, how we like calculate and for the uh, volunteering like that. Okay, um, is Kitty here? May I ask you to clarify your question? Uh, did you want to know the standard for volunteering or did you want to hear more about how to become a participant? Hello, Kitty. Uh, you could like to open your microphone and to, to like, um, explain your question and we will help you to explain that. I'd like to know both. Uh, I'm sorry? Both. I'd like to know both. Uh, I'm sorry, I cannot hear you. There was a lot of background noise, but I'll just briefly go through how to become participant as well as the standard of the volunteering, okay? So, yeah. yeah, all right. So let me go back my slide so you have a more visual uh visual thing to see okay hold on my computer's not being very cooperative let's go back this way bear with me for a sec Alrighty. so um participant you'll be asked to let's go back to this page all right as a participant you'll be asked to um submit an entry that entry can be um, 300 to 500 word essay if you like writing plus a one minute video speech uh, or uh, like Caroline, if you're more uh, into drawing photography or any of the arts related aspect, then you can also submit a visual artwork plus again, plus a one minute video speech. Now the idea behind the speech is for you to, to give you the opportunity for you to uh, explain your ideas um, and what you want to uh, project in your submission. So uh, for participant, that is what you need to do. Submit to the committee uh, with your entry, either one piece of visual artworks or a short essay plus a one minute video speech. Now there are two uh, dates you have to remember as a participant. There is the registration deadline, which is January 25th. 2021 and for the submission deadline, which is January 31st, 2021. Uh, I believe my colleague Sharon will be providing you with the submission email um, in the chat box. 
And if you do have further question in terms of a participant uh, be, uh, to uh, enter the competition, you can also email us, okay? Now let's go on to being a volunteer. Um, by being a volunteer, you'll be uh, asked to uh, make a lot of contacts uh, and introduce more people uh, to a GYC. And there are different ways you can accumulate your volunteer hours. First, obviously register. I hope you, since you're here, you have already registered, uh, registered. but if you haven't, please register at the globalyouth.org slash volunteer and fill out the very simple form, including your name, email, and school. Now, by promoting the GYC, as I said, you'll be able to accumulate volunteer hours and develop many of your skills that Sharon mentioned uh, just a minute ago. Now, there is this document called the Standards for Volunteer Accumulation, which we'll be sending you very shortly after the information session. There are several different ways to accumulate hours, such as making contacts, as well as uh, posting on social media sites. Um, and the specific hour and requirement uh, is stated in the document. Um, I don't think we have time to go into detail again, Katie, at, at the moment. However, uh, we will be sending you the document, the complete document to, to you uh, if you're registered as a volunteer. And if you would like to uh, register, you can um, go to the link that I provided uh, a minute ago or go to our main website, theglobalyouth.org and you'll find all information there, okay? Now, uh, I do want to mention as a volunteer, you'll be asked to submit a weekly progress report, which includes the hours and uh, the proof. Now, this is a goal to help you to stay, stay organized and to keep track of uh, the work you have put in. Do you want to show you an example? Uh, nothing fancy. Uh, please remember, nothing fancy. It just needs to be very basic information. For example, this uh, correct labeling, as well as your name, uh, the week, that we're talking about. And you can see there are seven categories that you can achieve uh, and, and you can accumulate hours uh, volu uh, by volunteering um, for uh, social media posting or number of likes or views you get from your posting. And you can keep a very clear track and just need to be very simple. This is the weekly report hours part when, in which we ask you to uh, provide us with a summary of the work you did uh, calculated in terms of hours. Now, if you want, want to uh, know about how you provide proof, uh, for example, this is a posting uh, from Twitter. It includes uh, the basic information that is required, which is stated in the standard of uh, volunteer hour accumulation, which we'll be providing you shortly by email. And you can just do this uh, in your document. You can just say, okay, so uh, this is um, category four, social media posting. Uh, this is Twitter posting number one, and I accumulated one hour for that. Okay, and uh, other categories you can do is, for example, this is a WeChat posting. You can label this uh, WeChat posting number one, and there is the red error. Uh, arrow, as you can see here, uh, this posting received 13 likes, and that is one hour accumulated. Every 10 likes you accumulate for your social media posting, you'll be given one volunteering hour. Okay, Katie, does that answer your question? Uh, if you like more detail, please let us know and we'll email you, okay? Uh, thank you, Christine. And uh, another question is that, can you show us some examples from the last year? Uh, so for that question, for the examples, and uh, Serena uh, so posted that question. Well, I suggest that uh, for you could like to um, look at our website and the we uh, for the Global Euros Challenge, I have like to share the, um, yeah, it's about like that website. You could log in that website and uh, you will find examples. So you could like click off GIC 2020 COVID-19 uh, winners. So that selection, you will view that the videos and the from like previous participants. So we'll, you will see the example about that. Thank you, Sharon. I would like to also mention further uh, for my, uh, after my colleagues have uh, suggested you to go on our, our website, the globalyouth.org. As you can see, there are different sections. And like she mentioned, go to uh, GYC 2020 COVID-19. You'll be able to see the different entries. Also, we do have a, YouTube account, if, if you're able to access YouTube, uh, there will be videos from last year, as well as uh, if you're in China, who's um, an 
somehow cannot access YouTube, you can go to Billy Billy and search for us and uh, we will have videos. We are, we already have videos up there. Now, um, I see a question regarding a official social media uh, account. We do have a Facebook page, but that's a little bit under construction. We will let you know as soon as possible when we get that online. Uh, we are working on that. Um, and uh, if you are looking for any information or uh, do have questions, please do email us. I'd like you to bring back, bring you back to this page, which already this page. So uh, please write this down if you like. Um, and uh, email with us with any questions. Now, I do see another question here. Um, is there a one minute speech? Is the one minute speech regarding the essay or something new? Now for, um, for uh, my suggestion, I don't suggest you read your essay in your one minute uh, video speech. That uh, speech is more of a, how do I say it? Like a addition, something uh, to, complement your works that you have submitted, whether that's a uh, visual art piece or that's an essay, um, that I think you should use that one minute, a one minute speech, a video speech to explain further uh, regarding the ideas behind your submission, uh, what you want to do, what you want to project, what do you want to achieve um, through your entry. I, it's a compliment. It's a supplement compliment uh, icing on the top of your cake, uh, not just a simple reading of your essay. I don't suggest you to do that, okay? Uh, because uh, with that uh, one minute video speech, uh, we the community will be able to see you um, to uh, communicate, like Sharon mentioned, communication skills, to communicate um, uh, in a voice that uh, regarding your speech, instead of just something that's submitted uh, artwork without any explanation or essay that we might not have any background information of. So that hope that answers that part of your question. I also see a part two. Um, technically you are allowed to do a voiceover, but I think it'd be better. And it is a chance to improve your communication and presentation skills that you just do a very simple, it doesn't have to be fancy, a very simple video and not choose to do a voiceover. I personally, if I enter the competition, I would not choose to do a voiceover um, because I think um, really that uh, you need to, it's, it's like a short presentation. You really need to develop your skills. And if you do get into the finals, and I hope to see many of you there, if you do go into the finals, if you do go to into the finals, then you'll be asked to answer questions live and you won't have chance to do a voiceover or provide any other other just yourself by answering the uh, uh, judges questions. Okay, does that answer your question? Thank you, Christine. And uh, well, I just collect one question. And uh, uh, so student ask about like, well, could we like, could you like to provide some otherwise, like how to um, use this social media and uh, like how to uh, doing the well volunteer jobs to do the promotion and the, just some like tips for that. Thank you. I think for myself, if I was a volunteer, I would first um, talk to my family and friends, uh, reach a wider audience. Now, it's easier to talk to family or friends. It's not so uh, perhaps so easy to, to talk to people that we don't know. And at the present moment, we are uh, using the internet. Now, I know many of you are very savvy uh, with uh, the internet and do have, uh, are very active on social media. So for me, I would just, um, you know, post with the, um, with the basic information and uh, explain to the audience or someone who's reading my posting, the importance of volunteer, especially now more than ever that the world is still, uh, grasping with COVID-19, uh, it is not at peace. So the importance of volunteers uh, is uh, super, like volunteers are super important at the moment, um, more than ever. So I think uh, for many of us, we are looking for a way to help. We're not essential workers. We're not at the moment, we're not uh, health uh, care workers that we can help them, but we can provide support and hopefully uh, create a, start to create and establish a better environment for the world to achieve the peace and to hopefully alleviate some of the burden that uh, is uh, put on certain 
sector of the populations uh, by COVID-19, okay? Uh, there are many different ways to do it. Personally, I would just uh, post and explain the importance and reach a wider audience and ask my family and my friends to uh, also uh, reach uh, their friends and family to hopefully uh, uh, have more people join us. The more people we have, the uh, better and the uh, reach of the global youth challenge of more people are joining us in this journey of making the world a better place. Sharon, did you want to add anything? Yeah, thank you so much for Christine. And the last question, I think that also from Kitty, that Kitty asked, could we like create the Instagram account to promote that event? Of course, I would encourage you to do so. If uh, you don't have to use your personal account, if you don't want to, you can create a special Instagram uh, account just to promote GYC. I would ask that uh, uh, for, for me, I would just put, for example, GYC 2021 dash your name. So it's easier for you to keep on track, uh, keep track of the information you have provided and do not mix up with your personal account if you want to have a separate account for following the GYC, of course. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christine. And uh, uh, thank you, guys. So if you still like any questions, welcome to like to email us. You could, if you have like some generic queries, you could like to email to info at the global US dog. And if you have like the volunteering uh, required question, you could like to uh, email to the volunteer 2021 that email address. Thank you, so Thank you. Thank you very much for everyone for joining us. Um, wherever you might be, please stay safe. And uh, my colleagues and I are looking forward to your entries or to your work. It is a difficult time and it is up to us uh, to make the world a better place, to make the world a more peaceful place and to help in any way we can. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, this session will um, will be uh, is recorded and if you would like the recording please let us know uh, we will figure something out and email you the recording okay thank you for joining us and have a good week thank you thank you